WVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff in Birmingham. Jeff, how are things looking where you're at right now? Well, we certainly have uh, continuing rain, as Jerry uh, indicates. It's not quite as bad uh, as it was earlier, but the rain has been steady. One of several places here at the uh, I-65 viaduct that got a week's worth of rain in about half an hour. Uh, and Birmingham Fire and Rescue tells us they had as many as 20 plus water related calls throughout the day. Eight of them, we're told, were actual rescues. And a 60 year old man was pulled out of the water on 23rd Street at uh, the behest of some bystanders there who performed CPR. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Uh, do not know any further update on him. Here at the viaduct, a fellow named Peter Palacios had a real close call in his vehicle and quite a story to tell. Let's listen. So water just, when we was coming through, water just started sinking it in. So we tried to back it up and it just sunk in even further. I just took my fiance to, she was pregnant. She was seven months pregnant. So I took her to the ER to get checked out real quick. Okay. She was in shock. Okay. And I wanted to make sure she was okay, but we also had to get our truck out. So my good buddy, Justin, <laughs> got me out Justin here. to the rescue. Justin, just in time in this case, and that's a good lesson to be learned on a day like today. A lot of lessons learned when the high waters come, and a reminder that spring is just a little bit ahead. The fiance is going to be okay. The car needs some work, uh, but, you know, that's the better side of that story when human life is protected on days like today. Sorry about that horn. A lot of folks are angry around here. We'll let you go for now. Jeff Eliasoff live in downtown Birmingham.